this is Star with Star Delta 9. Happy hump day to y'all. How y'all doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Listen, I am coming to you with a $20, uh-huh, I said it, $20 DYI aeroponics five-gallon bucket, uh-huh, in less than an hour. You got it right here on Star Delta 9. What's aeroponics? Well, aeroponics began in the 1940s. It's a soil-free environment. It offers more control to the root area and your plants can grow faster. Typically, the system, your plants are suspended from the top of the reservoir on a tightly sealed container like a five gallon bucket. A pump, a sprinkler is placed down in the bottom and that creates vapors out of a nutrient rich solution and it sprays the reservoir wetting those dangling roots that you have hanging and supported with these collars. The secret to aeroponics, in my opinion, lies in the increased oxygen availability to the roots due to the lack of root zone medium. There are many pros and cons to aeroponics. Some of the pros are quick, vigorous growth, can do lots of cuttings, it's mobile, um, you can move it rather easily from spot to spot. Some of the disadvantages are inability to maintain temperature, inability to keep pH normal, burning the plants due to hot nutrients, possible bacterial growth in the roots itself due to the water being warmed up and bacteria growing, reservoir not being changed out weekly. An aeroponic system is not a put up and leave system. You need to be disciplined. You need to check it daily and you need to check temperatures, pH, PPMs, soil, and then look at your babies. Assess your plants. What do they look like? Are they growing vigorously? Do they look soggy? Is there slime building up in the container? Some of the things that I did is I went to a chlorine pool supply store and I bought ResClear. ResClear is a chlorine uh, mixture that I cleaned my aeroponics bucket out once a week with and hydrogen peroxide because it's an antibacterial. People do use bleach. You can use bleach to clean out your aeroponics. What I would suggest is maybe putting it in, setting it up, pouring a little bleach in, running it for 24 hours, and then coming back and rinsing it thoroughly, and then put your plants in. I don't think that you can ever get rid of the scent completely, but it's not too bad. This is why I use hydrogen peroxide. So, if you're a grower who takes massive amounts of roots, it's a great quick way to grow great plants. It gives great root structure, and the stronger the roots, the better the fruits. We know that. But some of the cons is the extra care. The cuttings are more sensitive to temperature changes. Maintenance of your temperature is very difficult sometimes, and overall cleaning can be a pain in the ass. So with that being said, I will show you how I made mine. I apologize to you that I'm not able to do the build on video because clearly the build, the build is already done. But I'm assuming you all have a little bit of uh, handy dandy skills over there and you guys are all able to manage this on your own without any difficulty. So here are the supplies you need. One five gallon bucket. If you can get a dark one, that's the best thing to do. When I purchased mine, Lowell's only had white, so I used a black mat and painted it to prevent light leaks. I bought 12 three inch collars. I bought 12 three and a half inch neti pods, one pound of hydrotin, and one three inch hole saw cutter for my drill two suction cups and one digital thermometer from Amazon. Now, 
this is what I did. I took my top of my bucket, I placed a neti pod down here on that, traced it, used my saw, hole saw, and drilled a hole right in the center. The reason I did mine this way was because I needed a way to get my cord out of my pump. So I placed the hole, as you can see, in the center neti pod. So when I put it down in here, I could pull my cord right out of the center without having any more holes in the bottom of my bucket and prevent light leaks or any chance that this might be touching water. So I will show you the pump and how I created the pump. So you need one five gallon bucket. I did two lids, you really only need one lid. As many collars as you need and the size you need. As many neti pods and the size that you need. Some hydroton, your whole saw, your suction cups, your thermometer, and your water pump. Now this water pump has suction cups on the bottom. And I just took and bought PVC piping that was threaded on both ends. And I cut them according to the height I wanted when this sprinkler sprays out and it reaches the pods on the bottom of these neti pods. And I could adjust the top of this sprinkler. So I just cut them and they all are threaded on both ends. One I threaded into the pump. sprinkler head I threaded onto that side. Placed it down in my five gallon bucket. Because it has beautiful suction cups, it never moves. Fill your bucket up, put your nutrients in there, do your pH, let this sucker run 24 hours until it's dialed in. Then put your babies in it. Once I've cut all my holes, I took my cord, placed it down inside, put my lid over the top, pulled my cord through, and now my cord is down in there and it won't touch anything and the plants will go in the other six. I took Hydroton. You can buy Hydroton by the pound. I got a baggie at the Hydro store. What I want to encourage you to do is rinse the Hydroton thoroughly. It's very high in pH and has a lot of dirt in it. Until it runs clear, I wouldn't use it. Run it clear, rinse it clear. I put a little Hydroton in here. I took a three inch, three and a half inch collar. I laid it down in the neti pod and my clone went, or cutting went right there and I stuck it in the bucket just like that. All six of them were done this way. Super easy to do. You could probably do it in less than an hour and less than 20 bucks, okay? I did two lids, and the reason I did two lids is because when I take this off, generally it's because they're ready to go into transplanting into soil, and then I have this already prepared, and I just stick it back on the top, plug it in, and I'm good to go. So, if you have any questions, Please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends. You never know who's looking for an aeroponics build for less than 20 bucks. The thing I like about this the most is it's quick, it's vigorous, and you can grow amazing, amazing roots, but you need to be 
discipline. It's not a system you can build, fill up, and let go. It must be checked daily, daily. You can get your digital thermometer on Amazon for about $2.50. I bought three of them. I bought extra suction cups so I could just suction and stick it to the outside of the bucket and hang the thermometer on it and I just throw the probe into the bucket. They work great. They're relatively inexpensive. The pump, make sure you get at least a 370 GPH. Do some research on aeroponics. Find out what you're getting yourself into because it can be difficult to dial in. You can deal with slime, you can deal with burns, you can deal with uh, you know, your roots just being too soggy and just dying, your plant down, not doing well, not being vigorous at all. But if you dial this system in and you do it correctly and you stay disciplined, you will be amazed, amazed at the roots you grow, right? Grow roots, bigger fruits, right? One plant, one love, one tree. Thank you.